February 24th, St. Matthias, Apostle. Clement of Alexandria says that according to tradition, St. Matthias was one of the 72 disciples our Lord had sent out two by two during his ministry, and this is also asserted by Eusebius and by St. Jerome. We know from the Acts of the Apostles that he was constantly with the Savior from the time of his baptism until his ascension. When St. Peter soon after had declared that it was necessary to elect a twelfth apostle in place of Judas, two candidates were chosen as most worthy, Joseph and Matthias. After prayer to God that he would direct their choice, they proceeded to cast lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, who was accordingly numbered with the eleven and ranked among the apostles. He received the Holy Ghost with the rest soon after his election and applied himself with zeal to his mission. It is stated by Clement of Alexandria that he was remarkable for his insistence upon the necessity of mortifying the flesh to subdue the sensual appetites, a lesson he had learnt from Christ in which he faithfully practiced himself. The first part of his ministry was spent, we are told, in Judea, but after our words he went to other lands. According to the Greeks, he planted the faith in Cappadocia and on the coast of the Caspian Sea. He endured great persecution and ill treatment from the savage people amongst whom he worked, and finally received the crown of martyrdom. We know nothing for certain about the manner of his death, but the legendary sources say that he was crucified. His body is stated to have been kept for a long time in Jerusalem and to have been translated from there to Rome by St. Helen.